Hello, I'm Frank, WA2NDV, and uh, this is a video on how to decode data from GreenCube. I hope you all had success with the uh, previous video on getting packets through and how to do the setup for, for GreenCube IO117. And as you may see on your terminal program every so often, there are data packets that come through. Uh, the terminal program will decode just a bit of it. Uh, there are programs available. These are the links to them. Uh, so you can download uh, a, a lot of telemetry and it's very interesting to, to take a look at. These are the two files. We'll have them in the description. So you can go and download them. These links will take you and download immediately on your browser. Just find them, unzip them and install them. <clears throat> when you do, you will see uh, the two programs. I have them here in, uh, in a folder. The first one is Get Kiss. I have my sound modem running in the background. We went through how to install that. For the Get Kiss, we will come here and we will choose IO117 to decode that satellite's data. <clears throat> Connect TCP client. The TCP client connects back to the sound modem. And then go to TLM forwarder, click on that. And here you say allow data transfer to NORAD ID 53106. What this does is it sends the telemetry data up to SATNOGS. SATNOGS is a giant repository of all things satellite. If you own a SAT tracker, uh, the SAT tracker actually gets the frequencies for each transponder from SATNOGS. SATNOGS also collects telemetry for many, many Earth stations. And now stations like your station can now upload to the repository. And what this does, it, it helps the operators of the satellite to give them pretty much an around the world telemetry view of how the satellite is operating. So this will get your packets forwarded to them. You'll have a receive total HTTP and total HTTP OK. These will come up. And I will show you this in, uh, in a bit. The other uh, program that we have is called Green Coon Telemetry. That's the second one that you downloaded. So I'll bring that up right now. Bring that over to the page. And very simply, all you have to do is, again, click TCP client, and you are connected. These programs work in, uh, in tandem with one another. So the telemetry decoder will see the telemetry coming from the sound modem and give you information on all these parameters. You can look at the Digipeda statistics and the info statistics, but really what you're interested in is telemetry. Now I have captured some data and I can recall the data, but, and it will it'll, uh, keep track of your telemetry if you'd like. So let's say we'll go back to uh, the 15th. Now you can see on this pass, I received 47 packets. This is, is packet number one. And these are all the statistics for that packet that I received. Come down here, go to packet number two, and you'll see packet two, packet three, packet four, and so far, and it'll continue until 47. So you can see the processing time, solar currents, the charging, uh, how many volts are on the solar panels. Um, the, the one thing I have found is sometimes this transponder status is not quite right. Uh, today uh, is Labor Day weekend as we are doing this. The satellite uh, is in telemetry only mode, but yet the data is reporting that the transponder status is on, which we know it is not. And that's basically how you get telemetry from IO-117. Now, these packets are sent during a normal pass with uh, normal packet traffic. 
And of course, now it's in telemetry only. So it gives you something to do. And it does help the community because you are forwarding your packets up to the uh, database on SatNogs. So that's basically it. Not much to do. Just download them, click a couple of uh, check boxes, and you will be receiving uh, this telemetry from the satellite. Any questions, post them in the comments and we'll get back to you.